Good morning, this is Keisha Spivey, and I am bringing you your Friday fire. Hope you are having an amazing morning. Today, I want to talk to you briefly, simply about ask, A-S-K. Matthew 7, 7 tells us to ask, and it'll be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. We know that verse. We quote that verse. But today, I'm curious, how much have you been asking of God? Are you asking him for your, you know, just your daily bread? And, you know, what are you asking him for? Are you, you know, are you afraid? Are you asking him the blessing over your food? Or are you asking him and praying bold prayers? What are you asking? You know, the indicator of how much you really believe him is found in what you're willing to ask him for. How much faith are you willing to place in what you ask of him? You know, last week, we have a young man that we're helping out now through Ripple Effects, and he came to us over a month ago, and I know he wouldn't, wouldn't mind me sharing this. He was hopeless. He was homeless. He was jobless. He was carless. He was clueless. And in the last 30 days, we've been knocking on heaven with him and for him, and now he's knocking on heaven for himself, and he is full of hope. He's got two jobs. He's got a home. He's got a car. You know, he's blown away by what God is doing in his life. And he said to me, you know, I have a past. He said, but all of a sudden my past isn't what matters anymore. It's the future that God has called me to. And so as I was talking to him and looking at him coming into his faith and learning how to lean on God and to trust God and learning how God can truly give you beauty for your ashes. It doesn't matter how much pain you've had and how many mistakes you've made, that God is a good, good father, that he's sovereign and his grace is not because we deserve it, but because it's just who he is. It's his unlimited, unmerited favor toward us, not because of anything that we've done, but it's a gift that's given. And as he's walking into that, I see boldness coming upon him. And so immediately I thought about people who've been walking with God for a while. What happens that that asking starts to wane? What is it that happens in our hearts and our souls and our lives that literally keeps us from asking God to be God in our lives, from asking us to lean into the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of us? What is it that's keeping us from knocking on doors? What is it that's keeping us from truly, truly believing that God's going to deliver, God's going to keep his promise, that God's going to make ways out of no ways? And the reality is, it's not that God has changed, it's that we've changed. We've allowed situations and circumstances and people and disappointments and whatever. I mean, betrayal. We've allowed those things to influence us. We've been become contaminated by the world. We've allowed fears and doubts to literally invade our manhood and our womanhood. And it's made it sh uh, shut down our asker. Today, I want to challenge you. Take, around, take a look around in your life. What's What's not looking like the word of God? What's not acting like the word of God? What's not delivering like the word of God? And I want you to apply pressure to that thing based on the word of God. What's the, what does the word say about that thing? Apply a little word to it. Apply a little faith to it. Open up your mouth and unlock and unleash your asker. God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, but you're not asking him to be God. He's a gentleman. He's not going to push his way into your life. You have to give him permission. Everything happens in the spirit realm based on permission. You have to have and give him permission. You have to give him access into the crevices of your mind. These anxiety attacks, this depression, you're tolerating it? No. Go to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and ask him to do a work in your minds. Declare that you have the mind of Christ. Send anxiety and depression back to the pit of hell. Send fear back where it came from. These symptoms that are showing up in your body that don't align with his word, you need to remind God what his word says about you. By his stripes, you are healed. So you need to ask God for manifestation of that healing in your body today. Think about everything that was purchased for you on the cross. Think about all the benefits and the authority that he gave to you. He gave you the keys to the kingdom and you're walking around with them in your pocket and you're not even using them to open up the door. You're not opening up your mouth. You're not unleashing your faith. You're not applying the word of God. And you're looking around your life wondering why it doesn't look like what God said it should look like. Because you're not asking. 
You're not asking. You're not seeking. You're not knocking. Think about A-S-K, ask, seek, knock. What is it today that you need to ask, seek, and knock on heaven for? What is it that you need God to do? You know, I love when people tell me, well, God knows. You know what? So does the enemy. But which one are you, are you depending on to help you bring your, to bring you through? Which one are you depending on to help you get a way out? You know, God knows the desires of my heart, but do you know the desires of your heart? Have you opened up your mouth and asked God to reveal you what's on the inside? Have you asked God to literally take the talents and the gifts and all that he's deposited on the inside of you and to show himself strong in your life? Have you asked God to literally stir up your faith and to allow you to walk in a boldness and a courage that goes beyond anything that you can understand in and of yourself? Have you asked God to help you forgive people? Have you asked God to help you believe again? Have you asked Ask God to awaken your faith and to revive you in your spirit, man or woman, so that you can be a contagious Christian for him. Have you asked God to show off his goodness in your life? Have you asked God to literally take all your ashes and when he makes them beautiful for you to use them in a way that he gets the glory? What are you asking God to do? Are you asking God to open doors? Are you asking God for the courage to walk through those doors? Are you asking God for divine connections and divine revelation? I know I am. I'm in a season in my life that if God don't do it, it won't happen. There are doors that need to be opened in my life that man can't do. They have to be God doors. They're on God-sized hinges. So my asking has to be, God, show me, lead me, help me. Show me my blind spots. Show me the areas in my heart and in my life that are not like you. Show me me. But don't stop there. God, show me me in you. Show me you high and lifted above every situation. Show me, show me you and that which you desire to do in me and through me. Ask God to give you eyes to see today, a heart to receive, ears to hear and hands to go to work, feet that'll get to stepping. Ask God to do a new thing in you. Stop begging for the next. God is a God of new. I will do a new thing in you. Are you allowing him? Are you asking him? A-S-K, ask, seek, knock. You need a car? Why aren't you talking to God about it? You need some money in your account because you got bills to take care of. You got dreams and vision that you believe will honor him. Why aren't you asking God to show you what your role is? Stop believing that the heavens are just going to open and everything's going to fall out at your feet. No, there's a job and there's work that you've got to do, but you've got to ask God to show you the way. And then you've got to be bold and transparent with yourself. I heard someone say yesterday, I think it was Michael Todd, say he's, he was hot. His ministry was hot, hot. And he said, that's humbled, that's open and transparent. Are you living hot before God? Hot enough that you're bold enough to ask him to show himself strong in your life to do mighty things, to do those things that are exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever think or imagine. I hope you are being moved right now in your faith, realizing that your asking has little to do with you and everything to do with him. Because when you see God as, and you see Jesus as the savior of your soul, when you see him as your redeemer, when you know him as your rescuer, when you know him as your Abba father, when he's a good, good father to you, you're bold enough to ask. I have three children that I birthed and a lot of spiritual children that call me mama. They ask me for stuff all the time and they're not hindered when they ask me. They don't ask me reluctantly. They come to me asking me because they know I love them. They know Eric and I love them. Then we'll do anything in our power to help them. And we as parents who don't even know how to do this thing, try to give good gifts to our kids. How much more does God want to give to you when you ask him? So today, take some time, get still, go into your secret place and ask God what's blocking you from asking. What's the, get some liquid Drano and unplug your asker, unlock that thing. Send some, send some Drano, some spiritual Drano through clearing out the clog that's hindered you. And stop looking at these situations, shaking your head. Stop tolerating craziness. Stop wondering when, where, and what, and start asking. Start seeking, start knocking. And start believing that God wants to show himself strong in your life. All you got to do is give him permission. And all you have to do is ask. God bless you. Have an amazing weekend. I look forward to chatting with you on next Friday.